that's because of Popovich. Yeah, Rosen was getting shut down by any of LeBron James team. Now he, now LeBron James team. I don't know why him. LeBron just didn't doesn't even guard him, dude. I'm trying to save his energy. Uh, maybe. Did you watch the game the other day? Oh, fuck. I watched the, the first one against the Heat. Oh no, I watched the first San Antonio game and then they played again. Yeah. I didn't watch the second. I think they should bring Ingram off the bench when he comes back. And he doesn't want to. They can just say we're trying to ease you back in from injury. And then just leave him there. Because Kuzma is better because he attacks right away. Yeah, but that's Ingram, a good point. I mean, Ingram will grab it and he's like taking his time looking at everyone. Dude, it pisses me off that Ingram will catch it wide open and then wait for the guy to like sit up and then start doing shit. Yeah. It's like, dude, either shoot it or like as soon as he's coming, cut back this way. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, basketball, bro. It's like he bails out the defender. It's like, oh shit, Tony's open. Oh, Tony's waiting for me. I'm ready for him. Because that's something Kobe used to do. But Probably, Kobe yeah. Kobe could get away with it. Yeah. yeah. He wanted you to get ready. <laughs> like, I get ready and embarrass me. I know. So, like, that's why I don't even want Ingram. If we trade him, I don't care. Wait, you guys still play fantasy? No, he does. Fantasy, like, basketball or whatever? I you just do it? fantasy football. But not basketball. It's too much I don't work. do any of that. It's every day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alright, bro. Let's get to the fucking jelly, dude. The jelly, jelly. Let's get that peanut butter. Alright, guys. So... Motherfucker, right here. <laughs> his name? My name? He has a name, dude. Forgot my name. Booty King. <laughs> How many people are gonna call you Booty King? Which name? <laughs> Whatever, Anthony. I just I say Anthony now. I just gonna cut that. Well, known as the Booty King. When I say Tony, nobody knows who he is. Like when Tony. You, Tony? you gotta say Booty King. No, I gotta say Anthony. Oh yeah. Because only like, who's Tony? The only people that know me as Tony are like literally people I grew up with. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, you train with him. Oh, Anthony. Wait, you you would tell all your clients my name's Anthony? Yeah. It's been like that, even since school. Since started- even in school, I had people call me Anthony. Yeah. No, it actually started like in, I think ninth grade, dude. Eighth or ninth grade. Like a teacher called me Anthony, and I was gonna correct her, but I'm just like, nah, fuck it. And well, then later, it just started being Anthony. Wait. Because I used to have everyone call me Tony, even in uh, middle school. Oh, you wanted like everybody you would else tell them? keep up with that? Yeah. Call you Tony. And then um, I think in ninth grade, I think it was, fuck, I don't know what class it was, a teacher called me Anthony. And I was just like, I was going to raise my hand and correct her, but I was like, eh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> and then from there, it's That's Anthony. how I felt with Arturo, dude. Because yeah. my teacher wouldn't say it right. Oh, did they? Arturo? Like, Arturo. Uh, Arturo, I'm like, man, I'm like, I, don't, I don't want that shit to stick to me. Like, <laughs> you would just say Arturo. Arturo. Yeah. Because she Arturo. said, I'm going to call you. She actually came up with it, my third grade teacher. She's like, I'm just going to call you Arturo. Dang. And it's ever since, dude. Yeah, because we were confused on what his name was. He would tell us different names all the time. We're like, dude, what's your name? Well, I trust so, we just, right. so, we just, so we just started calling him John Doe. I'm just not I don't trust him. <laughs> we just started calling him John Doe. I'm not a fucking bunch of. I thought they were like a bunch of cholos, dude. Because yeah. they, they were taller than uh, me. Okay. Freaking playing basketball. Cholos, tall people playing basketball. That's considered a gangster. <laughs> you don't say like, oh, they look like basketball players. Because we're. Back then you didn't know. Alright, bro. Especially on that street, so. And on the street? Yeah. I would assume yeah, that they were fucking hit your people in the back. I know. Fucking crazy. Did my dad ever tell you that he saw someone get shot in the alley? No. But I always heard gunshots, so I yeah. don't doubt it. Dude, it's funny because small towns is a game in Anaheim, right? Yeah. But also where Africa grew up, like in Santa Ana. People around there were small towns also, so I think it was like small town different Just cities or is it like the same in small town? I don't know. The probably probably cousins or what? <laughs> All right, man. So, what are your plans for twenty nineteen? Twenty nineteen, well, twenty eighteen, I blew up my booty program. You know, I'm and still gonna continue to try to grow that in twenty nineteen to like different levels, but I'm also gonna come up with re- re- um, resistance bands. My goal with that is to blow it up to be number one. And I really believe I could make it number one because of my brand. Like everything, if you look at my page, Instagram, or YouTube, any, all my social media, the biggest thing is booty. Like booty, you see booty everywhere. Yeah. And something that goes with that, with booty, is the bands. And a lot of people follow me because they want to do my workouts. But then they don't have bands. They ask me what kind of bands are good for it. So that's, I'm just like, why don't I just. And is, there like a cer- and is there like a certain type of band they need? Well, there's 
Like, well, for a lot of the workouts I post, there's um the thick cloth band. Mm -hmm. It's called like the hip band. That's the only one I'm gonna release. I don't really like the the small skinny ones because a lot of them are like really cheap and they rip. And I don't really want that rep or rep where it's like, damn, I don't want those bands because they rip. Yeah. So I want to come out with something good. And there's a lot of people that follow me on on social media. They watch how my workouts, but for a lot of them, you need those that band. So I'm just like, why don't I just come out with a band? Because a lot of people ask me what's a good band, and I don't want to give free advertising to another company out there. And be like, oh, yeah, use this one. Yeah. I'd rather be like, hey, <laughs> I got my own. I got, shirt, my, own, I got my own. Use these. Band. Yeah. Super and I think, bands. and and I know they're gonna do good because it's just like my brand. You know, like people support a lot. There's a lot of people out there that support just whatever I do. Like if I come out with bands, they're gonna want to rock the bands. Yeah. If I come out with a shirt, they're gonna want to rock the shirt. Just because I put my, just because I help them out so much, like there's so much value in my page. Everything I do on my Instagram is to help someone transform. Like I don't just post dumb shit. Yeah. If I know it's not gonna help someone, every time I post, if it's not a uh, instructional exercise, like telling people how to do it or giving motivation on how to keep going, there's or, deliberate value in every post. There's a, it's a giveaway. Yeah. If you notice, like if it's not one of those two. It's a money giveaway. So everything on my page is like, people are engaged because they know they're gonna get something out of it. Shit. And um, so yeah, but like back to the, yeah, so everything I post is to either help someone transform with like their form or just motivation. And every time I try to be motivational, it's just like things that will get to um, different type of people. So like say someone's really big, I kind of know how they think. Cause I was in that position, yeah. So I'll try to get into to their head, like how to motivate them to start working out, how to keep going. Cause I I struggled, so I kind of use my own journey as like as an example for other people. And then like something that I can't really relate to, but I talk to a lot of people that that have um, gone through this is people that are really really skinny. Hector Morris. Yeah. That DJ. Yeah, like I used to, I would ask him a bunch of questions. I'm pretty sure he was wondering why. But I had I had my reasons, and like me, like before, I would think like, oh, he's really skinny, like that. That's no problem. If you call someone skinny, if they're really skinny, like it's not gonna get to them. Yeah. But it's actually the same thing as if you call someone fat, that's fat. They're gonna get offended. Right? Yeah, it gets annoying after a while. Yeah, and they don't like they don't <laughs> like not saying it as a compliment. It's like, damn, dude, you're really skinny. <laughs> so like, damn, dude, why are you so skinny? Yeah, <laughs> and I, he would tell me like it gets annoying. Yeah. So I'm like, oh damn, so that's how they feel. Like, like, people would actually tell you that? Yeah, like, in my whole life. Like, especially your family members. And I would never... Yeah, they would always call me black old dude. We, we, would go, black old. we would go see them, and they'd ask my parents, like, Dan, you guys don't feed them or what? <laughs> yeah, and, like, I would have <laughs> never... I'm just there, like, dude. I would have never thought that it was. Yeah. But when he would tell me that, I'm just like, damn, that's probably how they all feel. Yeah. So I kind of, like... So I guess everybody is uncomfortable in their own skin. At yeah, first. in a way. Yeah. So I just, like, I, I don't know. I just provide so much value. I try to help as much as I can with... Everything, everything I post. Spread the positivity, yeah. motivation, and grow And the since ass. my biggest, um, since my big, <laughs> my biggest demographic on Insta my social media is women. Um, so I kind of like I before when I try to be motivational, it was more like I try to get aggressive, but I realized it didn't really work. And also, it was kind of getting out of my, my character. Like I'm not really like that. I'm yeah. more calm, and I I realized that it works better like that. <laughs> When did you realize you were like, fuck, I'm being too loud? <laughs> yeah, because you remember, right? I would try to be like that, right? Yeah, I would make fun of them. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Just I can't really get like that. I'm he just... would like throw his towel and then start laughing after. <laughs> and I can't really get like that unless I'm, wor unless I'm working out. Because oh, sometimes yeah. when I work out, I get mad. Yeah. And like, that's the only time it kind of comes out. But most of the time when I'm training someone, I'm not mad. I'm kind of like calm, chill. So I kind of got used to doing it like that. And it works better. You just you know? feel like you're more yourself now? Like yeah. When you it sounds speak. more natural. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not really, um, yeah, because before I thought it was like, oh, you got to scream to motivate to people. Motivation. Yeah. Motivation. But as long as it, it helps them, like, it, as long as you get the message across them and it helps them, like, that's what really matters. Because right. I know how to communicate with people, like, that are trying to get fit, and, you know? Yeah. What about you, bro? What's 2019 goals? Dude, honestly, just being more consistent with social media. Like, I've been like lucky content. at the last couple years. 
like I get a lot of referrals, but it's just enough for like me to maintain. So like if I want to go to that next level, like I gotta do social media. Social media? Yeah. Content. What are you content, trying? Content, posting, just being more out there. Cause like for me naturally, like I'm not really one to like post about my life, but it's gonna be something where I'm You don't really gotta post about your life. Not about your life, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm going in your room. Okay. Um, just more content of like working out. Yeah. Them. Cause like, okay, think of other people that vlog a lot. You don't really know who their brothers or cousins are. Like yeah. Ty Lopez, I don't Gary V. Yeah, true. You know, like as long as your information, you're, you're like, you're really informative and stuff. Yeah. Like, it can literally just be just at the gym. Huh? Yeah. Cause there's different type of vlogs. There's like people that are vloggers that literally show you everyone in their life. And there's yeah. people that vlog that just show you how to just do things. Yeah. Okay, so I right. said this a little bit. Family he used to do a lot. Yeah. No, oh, just his immediate family, like brother yeah. and I mean, well, like his like wife, wife and mom. I mean, right? son and wife. Yeah. Because Gary Vee's never shown his kids, huh? Never. Or his wife. Or his wife. Talk, yeah, I wouldn't he's talking about it. But, but it's kind of on your audience. Like little kids, they kind of they want to kind of yeah know. Relate. Yeah, like older men, they don't care. Yeah. Yeah, my little cousin was telling me I should do a vlog of a house tour. I was like, at my house? I was like, yeah, you do, and I'll watch it. Wait, who's asking? <laughs> my little cousin. Oh. Yeah, see? But yeah, like you already see my house. Like yeah, but I want to watch it on YouTube. <laughs> I'm like okay. Like what are some areas you want to like? I guess put out more value in. Uh, well, pretty much the same as Tony, as far as like helping people. Yeah. Yeah. Like it makes sense. Like what he's doing as far as like providing something that's gonna help them transform. Cause I'll see a lot of trainers post stuff awesome, and it's just like I'm looking at it like how would this help me before? Like if I didn't know about working out, and like it really wouldn't. Like you don't really explain anything. It's just like a girl pushing a sled, but like and they'll be like, oh, do, do three reps of this. Yeah, they'll put like yeah, font, whatever, like yeah. three reps of squat. Yeah, and something I know is that a lot of people have only have never worked out. There's a lot of people who have never worked out. And like I, you go back to when you first start working out, when you were do a bunch of research because you didn't know anything. Yeah. I didn't know what to eat. I thought it was just beans. <laughs> My mom would just give me beans and chicken because that's all I knew. I didn't know about anything else. Or working out, like literally, I had no idea. So I'm just like, all right. I'm gonna put myself in that position again to these girls and I'm gonna show them like detail like exactly what to do with their workouts because the, okay something that I, nobody really knows if you've never worked out or transformed is the burn during an exercise like that's yeah. the most crucial part they did something, like something, something, something wrong yeah. I've had clients like that they're like hold on like this kind of hurts and I'm like yeah. and I think it's their joint so I have them do another workout dude this one hurts too <laughs> and like all right try this one Dude, this one hurts also. I'm like, does it hurt like your joint hurts or like it burns? Not like it burns. I'm like, yeah, it's working out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's normal. So I, yeah. that's something I preach a lot, like through my stories or captions or just my Instagram posts. I talk about like things are gonna go through to push past the burn. Yeah. Because yeah, like beginners don't know anything. Yeah, so they don't you know, know how like, that's normal. Is it okay? Like, yeah. Am I supposed to feel this way? I mean, it's what protein to take. Yeah. yeah. You know? It's understandable. We all, yeah. So I, I, got, I kind of got that part down. I think that's what really separates my, my, my page from everyone else. You know. Yeah. That's where I feel like I need to get back to. Cause sometimes I think too much of like, oh, uh, like people already know this. Cause I know it. But it's like, nah, dude. Like, to get Do back you, down to square one. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel like your content format matters? The way you're putting out content. Like you talk like about the like, way you're being descriptive about everything. Like in the caption? Yeah, caption is like... Um, or are you talking about like if you click on my page and you see the whole, all the, all the posts, is yeah, they yeah. nicely organized? Or Not nicely organized, but just the way you post. Oh, yeah. Some people would look at shit like that, like, like, is he, why, like maybe that's why he's ranking, you know, like, oh. he's posting like a certain way mm. or like... Mm. No, I honestly, like, mm. I, I post whenever, anytime. So it's more about, you would think it's more about value. Yeah. Like this is a value you're putting out. How would you say you went about, like, let's just say your last 300 posts? Like, do you think ahead, like, next month I'm going to post about this? No. Or... There were times where I would, like, come up with, like, a week's worth of videos. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to post this today and then this tomorrow. And sometimes I just, oh. I just it comes up, like, randomly, like, well, I'm going to post this today. So you're making the bulk and then you just post, and you just post throughout. Weeks. Yeah, I mean, that's the best way to do it. But sometimes, like, I don't do that and I have to just... Sometimes I just have to come up with it at the yeah. moment. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Victoria, you're, you're gonna be yeah, in the no, podcast. Oh, I am. Oh, I'm I'm sure. Sure.
Man, fuck it. You can just cut it. Yeah. Just board it. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, can I have your own? Oh, yeah, my bad. Because obviously, like, let's say I want to post these certain workouts, I have to plan ahead so I can have that client do them. And obviously not have her do the same thing over and over again. Oh, yeah. So, like, I already recorded these workouts. Well, I mean, I'm going to do a workout that's different so I can upload that. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, like, some I'll, I'll be at the gym sometimes and I'll be training someone. I'll be like, all right, I need to, I want to post this. Yeah. Record so, you already know ahead of time what you're going to have to do. Yeah. Obviously. I think you meant like, do I plan like weeks ahead? Oh yeah, yeah. No, sometimes it's yeah. like at that moment. Cause obviously you're always changing it up. So it's like you had to think of that. Yeah. Something different. And sometimes like it's, you overthink it, but then you realize how simple you just have to think like, yeah. there's literally, you could do videos on everything. Yeah. Like do a video on like how to do the form, right? What, how not to do it, like three examples and then the correct way. Yeah. Or like a whole workout routine. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, because I know if you change it up, it'll either yeah. be that, it'll be like a routine, it'll be like a superset you can do, yeah. a triple drop that you can and do. And then the worst thing you can do is try to ex- try to copy exactly what someone else is doing. Yeah. Because then yeah, you'll, like, you'll always be way behind. Yeah. Because you'll be like, damn, I don't know what to post. I need to check what this guy's doing. Those yeah. people calling themselves Booty King too, huh? No. Booty yeah. King? Well, they can't. I mean, they just. I don't know. I don't think so, no. They, they're trying to do it exactly what I do, but I don't think... Booty Prince. <laughs> I'm just gonna be the Booty Prince. Booty Prince. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Um, I don't know if you want to discuss this, but... Fucking, um... Do you have, like, new marketing strategies coming up? Yeah. Well, do you it depends for... Them? It depends for what? Yeah, I'll tell them. It depends for what? I was gonna say, it's probably, like... They're not gonna do it anyway. <laughs> No, so I think about so it. I know to grow my to grow my brand and get more exposure out there and profit more on like the booty program, get that out there more. I have to train big time makeup artists yeah. because their demographics all women, and that's what helps me. Like I can't train a model. People will think like, oh, I'm gonna train a model even if she has two million followers. Like it won't really help. Because so there's like Cause there's mostly men. There's different demographics. <coughs> mostly men follow that are them. following them, right? Yeah. yeah. But the makeup artists that are big, they're big because people like it's mostly women, it's and they people. actually and they really enjoy their YouTube channels. Yeah. And yeah, so like their demographic is, I mean, their engagement is usually high, which means like my, the return, the ROI is gonna be ROI is gonna be way more. I see how you're correlating. Yeah. yeah. And then um, the bands. Facebook, Instagram ads, yeah, and then maybe mar- um, affiliate marketing where I have like other fitness people um, rep it and then yeah. they get a code or something like that. Yeah. What do you guys think of uh, AR, augmented reality? Could be used as marketing. I don't even know what that is. No? Is that that new thing coming out? AR, it's kind of like um, if you put a fucking like a barcode and they can scan it. And then, like, it takes them to, like, a call to action. So, like, and where were the booty bands. Was, yeah. It could be, like, in select places. I don't know. I, I think it's a little bit more more of a different type of marketing. But, I mean, it helps. But I don't know how it would kind of help. No, I never even heard of it. have you seen that's using that? Uh, or, like, how'd you find out about it? Dude, I've seen it. I've seen it, like, posted on, like, on light. Fucking traffic lights and stuff like that, oh, yeah. and it's like a like a scan, like a barcode. Does it and say you what it is? Just scan it with your phone. Oh, do you know what it is? What happened? Do you know what it is? Like before you scan, like does it say like what it is? Well, yeah, it'll show you the brand of what what that barcode's for. So like let's just so say it's kind of like a flyer. Bands. Yeah, like, in a, a way. Uh huh. And you just have to scan it. And you scan and it, it, and it'll, it'll take you, you directly to what it is. Or like, like for him, it would be his page on like where to buy. Like the secret gift. Like scan this, and I'm gonna give you a secret gift or whatever. I don't know. Oh. Some type of shit like that. And it could be like, I've never seen that. A booty that band. I'll take them straight to the booty band page, and you'll fucking. I mean, I think that's kind of like a billboard. Like a like a promotional. Like it's. I don't really think that's effective. The best marketing is social media. Just yeah. Like that. Yeah. You reach more people. Advertising. How many people are gonna walk by that light bulb? Yeah, and then <laughs> it's not gonna be the people you want. Yeah. Homeless people. What about VR? <laughs> what about VR? 
VR and all of those either. Yeah. That's like the new yeah, thing with the. Yeah. Uh, no, you can watch a movie on your. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. What about that? Well, because people are, like marketers are always talking about how they're trying to implement marketing into that. Mm. Oh, like get ads in there? Yeah. I, I mean, like, before they watch a movie, there's an ad that shows up. Maybe, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like maybe something like that. That's hey, what I'm trying to think ahead. On like, YouTube ads? How can we use that to our right No, I haven't. Or like Snapchat? Um, you haven't done YouTube ads, huh? Weird. I know. What happened to you? What do you mean, what happened to you? Huh? Why are you selling yourself? No, what happened to you on the YouTube oh. ads? Oh. I don't know. Because there's a That's lot a good of question. people there, no? Yeah. I just didn't really know how to work it. And I think it's way more expensive than Facebook, Instagram, and yeah. Instagram ads. Like Snapchat ads are expensive, dude. Have you noticed yeah. if the price has gone higher or no? Or it's been the same since you first started? Um, I noticed camera. that. Like, what's been different? It does cost me a little bit more per click. Okay. Yeah, because when I first did it in the beginning, I was getting like, it was costing me like less than a penny for one click on the link. Yeah. And how much is it now? Now it's like 13 cents. Oh, okay. No, like one point. Yeah, like one, one penny. Do you know how to make, um, so when you make an ad on Instagram, I've noticed there's different type of ads. There can be an ad where it wants you to go to their website. There can be an ad where it just asks for your information. Do you know how to do that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I know if you do it through Instagram, it'll ask that. Oh, like what type yeah, of Yeah, it gives you the it? call to action. So like, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, like where do you page, want it to be directed? To your yeah, page, to your now. website? And on Facebook, you can do it if you just want it to be on Instagram, both, or just Facebook. Is the charge the same or different? The same. Yeah. So wouldn't you always just pick both? It's the same price. I mean, to me, it, I like doing it more on Instagram than Facebook. Yeah. What? The, your ads? Just because your page looks better on it. Yeah. Than if they want your better, page. It's like easy. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's easier to sell them on your Instagram page than yeah. if you look at your Facebook page. It's more clean, right? Like yeah. you just click, boom, it's a lot page, more simpler. Boom, you see yeah. everything. Buy because you already have information. See the story. With Facebook, it's too cluttered. Like yeah, and then, like, and then like on Instagram, yeah. at least you could um. You, you, you could tag the people that transformed. So it gives you more credibility. Yeah. On Facebook, it'd be like, oh, it's what if you just got it on, off of the internet? Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. What about your Arthur? What's your plans? For your My plans for 2019? What are your plans? My plans are to keep podcasting, bro, like as much as I can. Every day. If I, yeah, I'm going to try. I'm going to try every fucking day. But the fact that, I mean, I'm just getting hobbies going, dude, it's fucking dope. But yeah, push out more content, do more videos, and just start. Like my plan with her is just to build her her fucking follow, her following like organically, like none of that fucking unfollow shit. Yeah, it has it has been working on Facebook, huh? Yeah, she's got a lot more likes now. Um, she gets way more comments too. Comments, like what about f- traffic? Foot traffic. I'm pretty sure it's gone I haven't asked her. Because the awareness is going up. More yeah, I haven't, I haven't asked her, but... More people I'm know that sure. it's there. Pretty sure it's there, dude. So I'm just going to keep building her. Because before, She's my free client. I've never heard of Walla Waffle. A lot of people yeah. have it. And then they've the seen ads now. She hasn't mentioned how, like, her income with that has been going. Like, I haven't. I'm going to ask her. more money monthly. I ask her usually every month. Like, I've noticed sales have gone I haven't asked her. But, dude, once... But once she's like to where I feel like I can go and pitch this, like, dude, I got from here to here. Yeah. Then I'm, Cause I feel like if I go walk um, to like random businesses and I don't have something to prove myself with, I just yeah, feel like it's always hard to Like, dude, you haven't. Yeah. Can I say, yeah, I do videos for you, but I didn't make your fucking brand yeah. new. You know, like I just. Nah. So once I build her, it's just gonna be like, bro. How do you feel you are like, like with the skills effect. you learned at school? As far as filmmaking, it's working, dude. Yeah. Like filmmaking, like this is just these are just shots. Yeah. But like with filmmaking, like making movies. Cause how much more do you have left at school? Um. Like another year or like. Like another another year. Another year. Yeah. And but my plan is to get out of there before. And you've already been there for a year. Six months. Oh, okay. Six months. But yeah, they teach you a lot a lot of shit that's based on movies. Yeah. They don't teach you shit about like social media marketing stuff like that. Yeah. But you can use. Too new. You could use filmmaking yeah. in your advantage for to like media. create stories for yeah. advertisements, and that's my goal right now. 
Yeah, yeah because you're pretty much a content creator if you have social media. Yeah. yeah. Like me, I was constant. I was a content creator since I first saw social media. I was doing videos. But see, you're fucking smart. Like the way the way you market your stuff. So you're a good marketer. Like, I guess I'm like. Would you say you lack creativity? Nah. Well, I mean, in as, some far, as far as like making ads. You know what I'm saying? Like, no? Not really. I mean, if I try to make it like a cool looking movie, yeah, yeah that's what I can't saying. do yeah. that. But so like the idea, I, I, I think I got it down like what I want. And then my yeah. ads, my ad, they don't have to be so like dope looking as long as it's like people see. It's kind of like a sales pitch. Yeah. If you think about it, if someone tries to sell you something, you're only good if they like listen, they listen they're like it? intrigued and they're like, oh shit. The first three seconds, huh? Yeah. I just try to add a little bit of both, you know, like I want to make it look cool and like creative yeah. and then still get that same look. This person is like, oh, I want to do it, like, but, but yeah, man, it's cool. And is your goal to like target different people for podcasts or like get different type of yeah. genres, subjects? Different, yeah, different genre subjects. More business, like more business and stuff like that. Yeah. Like what has to do with like the future, man. Like yeah. social media and stuff like that. No politics, no music. Yeah. I mean, I think it'll probably come up at some point. Like, yeah. so what do you think about this? Yeah. So Jesus if they ask me, I, I probably won't ever ask that. Like, I don't care about this shit. Like, one day people ask me, like, what do you think of Trump? Because I was in the military. I'm like, dude, I think just like everything. Like, I just, like, how can you let, like, a president affect, like, the way you build a business yeah. or succeed in life? I never think about like, it. Because that's not, that's not your control. That's it. Right, like, like, who gives a fuck? Like, oh, I'm failing because of Trump. Yeah. Like, dude, you know what it is, work around it. Like, do I have, do I feel bad for what's going on? Like, like people getting deported and stuff like that? Yeah, but it's like, yeah. what can you do, bro? Like, I'm going to go yeah. over there and forget who I am and fucking <laughs> risk your life. Because yeah. people complain, like, they want to do something about it, but it's like, okay, then go do something about uh, it. I feel like a lot of people that complain, they, they probably didn't even vote. I know there was a lot of people yeah. like that. They complain and then when it came down to it, they didn't vote. Yeah, at the end of the day, complaining does nothing. Yeah. Like, dude, you've been complaining for five years. Like, <laughs> like what has worked for you? Nothing's yeah. changed, dude. You gotta work around it. Yeah. Yeah. I never let any of that stuff affect me. But yeah, don't let, don't let fucking Trump <laughs> affect your business goals or your life goals, huh? So you're gonna get disliked from all the Trump supporters. And that's he went down. I don't even know where it's going yet, but we'll see where it goes. Yeah. Like your uh, your friend, what's his name? Jet Set Fly. Like he he does podcasts, huh? Yeah. No, I'm saying. I, don't know know. I think he's like ranked up there, like top ten for his entrepreneurial podcast. Oh yeah. That guy you interviewed with? Yeah. Okay. No, that's what goes right there. He's, like, he he would he would send me text messages of people saying like, I just watched your interview with um the Booty King. Hellfire, wow. uh, inspiration, and Victor is always telling. To, um, he says that he watches it like every day or listens to it. <laughs> he wakes up. He can memorize it line by line. <laughs> I haven't. Li- I don't. I think I only listened to like ten minutes of it. Mm. Damn, the obsession though. Yeah. See natural talks. But yeah, man. Um, are you taking Austin? Yeah, like in five minutes. Is this minutes? a podcast? Yeah. Oh. Podcast video form. Cause I don't think you even intro. Oh yeah, you did do the intro. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking um, I just had to do a video because I need to make sense. So you just put out Instagram content, like in picture yeah. or little little clips. And I liked when I watched you guys talk yeah. that it was just straight to the point. Like you didn't do an intro or anything. Yeah. It just See, cut. that's what I'm saying. The, Cause the content was it just good. cut and then it cut to a conversation. Yeah. Cause it looked like it was one of those convos where like kind of like this, I guess, where we're just talking and there's just a camera. There. Like, you guys aren't looking at the camera or, like, trying to address the audience. Yeah. It's just you guys talking. Uh, like, we're, we're in our zone, you know? Yeah. You get all motivated by that. So it looks like, more authentic. Damn. He's like, damn, he's right. He needs to get out of the comfort zone. I, yeah, like, I never really thought of that. Like, I, you tell your clients to get yeah. out of the comfort zone, but, like, trainers aren't willing to do it. That was a good, good yeah. statement right there. Yeah. Because I know all the trainers want to do that. They just are just scared. It's like, fuck. I'm like, dude, you do, it with, like your, you do it with your client. Like, you can't do it with a camera or anything. Like, it shouldn't be that hard. Like, you already do that. 
Yeah, you just got when you get someone that doesn't know how to do a workout, you have to explain to them. Like, all right, you do this, you do that, you do that. Yeah. But now it's just recording it. Yeah. Pretty much. It's kind of like if you were talking to your client and Arthur was recording, but you didn't know. Yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah. Kind of like when I do, because if you think about it, like, damn, I'm about to speak to 500,000 people. It kind of, you, you get kind of nervous. But if you just yeah. think of it like, or I'm, I'm telling one of my clients. Yeah. That's how I started thinking like, about it. Like, let's say they're like, hey, um, send me a video of how to do this, because I don't know how to do it. Yeah. Like, oh, I'll record it for you, and I'll send it to you. Yeah. So Instead like, of trying to think of, like, hey, everyone's going to see it, what are you going to say about it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, like, my goal for this is the same thing. So, like, I wanted to reach to whoever is interested, obviously, and whoever it feels that they can get inspired from. You know, like, oh, shit. Yeah. Like, that shit looks easy. Or, yeah. But I should probably kind of follow the same tracks. But yeah, I don't look at it no more. Well, I try. I try because I mean, I care what people think, but I don't care what people think like, at the same time. But like, what do you mean? Like, yeah, because I mean, you're still talking to people. You want to make yourself look like. <laughs> like you don't want to look dumb. Not, yeah, you don't want to look dumb. Oh yeah. But. You said you you care what people think and you don't care what people think. Like about oh, blogging, blogging in general, or like doing this, or like what? Posting on Instagram? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, because you were saying, um, talking to that one person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you were saying like, yeah, it is kind of like fucking nerve-wracking if you're thinking about talking to a million people, or 500,000 people, whatever. But if you're just thinking about like, targeting that one person, like, yeah. it kind of kills like that, that fucking like, yeah. anxiety. Sometimes even when I watch people, um, I kind of like to see them struggle. So I'm like, damn, I wonder if he's gonna get better. And like, you saw yeah. that process. Like, yeah, he used to suck at blogging, dude. I remember like, who, who, would, who have you like paid attention to? That... I mean, I would notice like watching Christian Guzman back in the day. Oh yeah. Like he's gotten way better. Like you've gotten way better. I know because and they would tell me I'm monotone, and I'm like, no, dude, this is how I really <laughs> sound. But then I look back and I'm like, damn, I was monotone. Yeah. And like now it's just natural. Yeah. So what do you guys think about this fucking um? Making like little, um, like film parodies, like before the podcast. What do you mean film parodies? parodies? Like I don't even know if I should have said parody of us. Like a comic? yeah, like it would be like a little small like. Kind of like, like how a, we used to do with like a sketch. Like, like a little oh, skit. It would be like a little skit. On like a YouTube, the YouTube um video. Yeah, it would be like a little skit. Oh, yeah. Podcast. I mean, me and him had a channel, Sports yeah, Talk. Sports, yeah. And it would but it was like some dumb scene before. Yeah, but before? It, it was yeah. like us all the time. So yeah. that's what we yeah. did. Is we used the same one all the time. We did one where we walked in, like if we're on sports on first day. Yeah. And I'm, I'm working out. Yeah. And you're like, dude, what are you doing? We're on in 10 seconds. Oh, shit. Fuck. And we like ran towards that. the camera. And then the <laughs> one where I, I did a game winning shot on him. Oh, uh, yeah. And I started getting all caught That one took like 500 tries. I couldn't make it. What do you guys ever say? Dude, just like dude honestly, we it's just hard because we live you're far. Just busy it's just our schedule. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And but, I do it. If we would have stuck to it, I think we would have been good. Because yeah, when I when I was more consistent, when I stopped doing it with him, I just became slow. I kind of like doubled our subscribers like in a week. It's just uploading more. Just putting and picking the right topics. Yeah. Like you talk about the Lakers, you get a lot of views. Yeah. Because it's like the most fans. Like nobody cares about the Cavaliers. Because LeBron's out. Yeah. As long as you talk about the main basketball players and then yeah. the main basketball I feel teams. like a lot, if we were to improve our thumbnail and our and our caption, it would have worked in. So that's kind of what I've noticed what makes pages huge. Yeah. Um, but I think our channel was just so different because we, we were friends, but we argued like... Yeah, like when I watch other people, people... No filter. When I watch other people, <laughs> it's kind of like if I were to oh, argue man. with someone I don't really know. So, like, I'm not gonna, like, go at them, because I don't know them like that. Yeah. But it's kind of like, oh, that's interesting. And with him, I'm like, dude, you're an idiot. Like, yeah, like, you're really like, just like, dude, you're stupid. Yeah. <laughs> you think that. <laughs> yeah. So, it was more like, you can go to that level. Yeah. Because yeah. when we argue, that's what we get. Yeah. Legit. Yeah. And that's how people are, dude. I don't yeah. know, like, there's no channels like that. Yeah, like, even ESPN, like, they're nice to each other. Yeah. Nah, Stephen A. and... When you professional. Well, I know Stephen like A. and Skip. Well, that's why they blew up because they would actually go at each other. Yeah. Like it was, it was entertaining to watch. Yeah. Like yeah. Andrew, they're hella pissed right now. <laughs> no, but I think like, they're, they're both over talking each other and like yeah. trying to get their point. Yeah, you could get intense. But yeah, we could rival. Sports talk is like it's passionate. Yeah. So we could rival them. 
Yeah. If you think about it, it's just them two and like. Like if it's a topic finish. I don't really care about, like I don't really care. But if it's like nah, dude, like Lakers are gonna go to the West Coast. Our channel is literally like just Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi, and then Lakers. Yeah. <laughs> Basketball. Some football. And some football. Some football. Yeah. Like the hot topics all the time. Yeah. Or like predictions. Yeah. Yeah. For me, it's easier to talk about basketball because it's like the sport, like the only sport I know. Yeah. The other sports are a little hard. Yeah, you would name the wrong players. <laughs> <laughs> I would name the wrong players on the wrong team instead of football. And then I would just wait for him to finish and then correct him. <laughs> like, first of all, dude, he doesn't play there anymore. Well, I know, I always know you know sports, but do you know sports like... like he keeps up more with football now. Yeah. I don't even really know football. Because I do yeah. manage football, so I kind of have to know. Like what's going on? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but that channel would have been crazy. Sorry. I yeah. wonder if we. Uh, I'll come over. We shoot them all, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Fucking sports. I'll come over every day and then it'll hold me accountable to make posts for fitness. So. There you go, dude. I think it's, it, it would be easier but if he moved in. He'd be my main camera guy. But yeah, dude, I was thinking about that. Like, making little funny comedy, I don't know. Like, little yeah. clips, just to be like... I think it's cool, especially when the video first starts. Yeah, because the audience... already keeps you interested. Yeah, the audience would look forward You're to like, it. You're like, huh, that was kind of funny. Into it. Yeah. And that would be like the main comedy. We were trying to like think boring. of different ones all the time, but then eventually we just used the same one, huh? Yeah. Which was me shooting over here. <laughs> <laughs> I created the... I, I edited the video, so I'm like, I don't know, make this all look good. It started where like I would put my hand on his face or like try to block it, and then it got to where I'm just like this. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> yeah, you're like, you're you're like, like you're you're your defense is too good. <laughs> no, I never said that. <laughs> well, you had a basketball court at Jose's house? No, it was one. I would go to my mom's house just for that clip. Remember? Yeah. Oh, just to he went to my mom's house for that clip. Our first video we did. You were there in the front yard. I you interrupted our video. As our, I went as a as a host. Oh, that was in the that court. Was that was a later video, but our first video ever. That was our prediction. You were there. The playoffs. You Forgot interrupted it. You like went in the middle and started screaming. <laughs> yeah. Remember? Ah, uh, the Duncan like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was our first video. That was our first video ever. And you're like, fuck. Dang. And we just walked in. It's crazy because like even then, like now I can talk more natural to camera. Yeah. I was super nervous with that video. Yeah, like, I can tell you my voice was nervous. Yeah. Talking. Like, I think one of our best videos was like Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi debate. Yeah. Cause that one, like we actually both thought, like I think Messi's better, you think Ronaldo's better. Yeah. Sometimes it'd be like, alright, I'm he, kind of. He he felt more comfortable because he actually is a big time Messi fan. Yeah. Like I was able to like think of what to say back. Yeah. Compared to like, yeah, I don't know how to argue this. Like he's got me. Like I don't say. <laughs> I had to say something. But I don't know what to say. <laughs> like fuck. I'm like um. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's literally yeah, just practice. Do. The more you practice, it's easier. Here. Mm. How would you end this shit? Cool. Thanks, thanks for coming through, Arthur. <laughs> this is your podcast. Good luck in 2019, bro. No, I'm gonna clean your house. Uh, what? I'm like, good luck in 2019. You too, man. 2019 good luck to both of you. Dude. Fucking crushing goals. Okay. Just making a difference. Get that right. Yeah, we need that fuck. <laughs> Not about us, dude. Fuck that. It really is, dude. Yeah. It really is. Like, it's all about I'm like, I already taking have care my, of I already have people, my, man. my thing to do. Time to get you guys to do yeah. Cool. Like, it's just crazy how everything just ended. Like, I never thought I'd be, like, doing, doing this. this shit yeah. after the military. Like, and shit like that. I'm pretty sure in five years, we're going to be like, yeah, I didn't think I was going to do it. Huh? I'm pretty sure even in five years from now. Yeah. Like, yeah, I Everyone, never thought it would go to that now. Because it's evolved to something yeah. else or whatever. Like I thought it was about Instagram, now it's something else.